Wait a minute, I never passed without a passing lane. What's going on? How did we get here? I don't have great footage of what happened, but to find out why we're in such a hurry, we're going to have to backtrack a bit. Well, the audio from the dash cam was so bad, I thought maybe I'd just jump in here and fill you in on what was going on. As we're heading east down uh, 89, or towards Highway 89, all of our phones jumped ahead an hour. Now, I checked and double checked the time zones and uh, where we were going. We had reservations, we had a timed reservation for Antelope Canyon. Now the GPS said that we were going to arrive five minutes before the time we were supposed to head into the desert and the website clearly said that we were to be there 45 minutes before. So instead of this being a picturesque drive up Highway 89 between, uh, between the Grand Canyon and Page, uh, it ended up being a white knuckle mad dash to try and make our reservation on time. So we didn't stop anywhere. I had checked and double checked my time zones and I was certain that I had this timed properly. What I forgot while we were driving was that parts of Arizona does not observe daylight savings time. So when we got to Antelope Canyon, we had almost an hour to kill. So we ended up eating lunch in the parking lot. I thought that I had recorded everything. I thought that I had talked about it, um, but I guess I didn't hit record on the camera. Not the first time I've done that. Now, in fairness, the entire time that we were in page, I had no idea what time it was. Uh, we had two phones that were on daylight savings time and two phones that weren't. And I really didn't know what time it was most of the time. And you can kind of see that theme throughout the video. Uh, we didn't know what time we were supposed to be at Horseshoe Bend for sunset because we didn't know what time sunset was. So anyways, Gillen took some amazing footage driving down Highway 89 while I was scrambling and panicking to uh, get to Antelope Canyon. So let's go back to the video and enjoy some of that footage before heading into the desert. Man, I wish I had our trailer here. Here we can see Antelope Pass far below. Unfortunately, we don't have time to stop at the Vista Point and take in the views. But the view from the road is pretty spectacular. We've made it to Page, but at this point we still don't know if we'll make our reservation. Fingers crossed. The road is a little rough and dusty and it's hot but so far this is pretty amazing. Before long we're here, Upper Antelope Canyon. Upper and Lower Antelope Canyon both offer a unique experience, but Upper Antelope is where some of the most famous photos come from. The Lower Canyon presents more of a physical challenge with stairs and ladders, so we chose Upper Canyon, even though it was almost three times the price. One of the guides played a traditional Navajo song on a flute, which really added to our experience.
Our guide Arlie did a fantastic job explaining how the canyon was formed. Behind us, and it's going to basically solidify. And my hand is going to act as an erosion, okay? Wind. See there, right? Oof. It's already becoming a big plate. And we have the sand coming in, bringing in, and adding more solidification. And if you're able to, you can actually pick it up. Wow. And it's a big plate, okay? Sometimes it breaks when I put it down, but I'll try. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh no. Okay. But this area right here is gonna act as the hairline that I mentioned earlier, uh, back in 200 million years ago, okay? And we'll have more rain flow coming in, and that's how you're gonna get the creation of the slot canyons. The guides say that that's a forest fire just south of Bryce Canyon. Oh, wildlife. Well, cows are wildlife, aren't they? All right, back to the trucks. Where I can put my anchor down. Did I mention it's a rough ride? I'm going crazy. We were supposed to go out for dinner, but after the stressful drive to Page, the walk in the desert, and the intense heat, we're just going to check into our hotel and regroup before our next outing. Like many towns in the western United States, Page has a mountain monogram. There are approximately 500 of these geoglyphs around the west, ranging in size from a few feet to hundreds of feet tall. And way off in the distance we can see Tower Butte, barely visible through the smoke. Yeah, there's a forest fire right where we're going tomorrow. There are some paddle boards way down there. The rocks here look like they're from another world. I don't know if we lucked out or if we didn't luck out because there's a fire burning just south of Bryce and it's either going to be the best sunset or a lousy sunset. I think it's going to be awesome. Chill. Some people like to get uncomfortably close to the edge. <laughs> He's definitely too close to the edge. With a baby? The little lizard. It uh, said 7.50, but it's 8.10 already. It's not down. So. As you can hear, my time confusion continues. I really have no idea what time it is. The Glen Canyon is filling with smoke from the fire near Bryce National Park, over 50 miles away.
there are still lots of people out there. Look at these rock formations. Wow, something is going on. Oh no, it looks like someone got T-boned pulling out of the parking lot. The air ambulance is here, that can't be a good sign. I sure hope everyone is okay. We may be here for a while. It's gonna take an hour to get traffic running smooth again. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. On the next one. Didn't get tickets for the wave in Utah? We may have found the next best thing. As well as an amazing beach. And a mammoth rock formation. We visit an old western movie set and take in the local wildlife. Before ending the day at Bryce National Park. So join us, our next adventure is just around the corner.